Hey fam, welcome to I Love Me, Me, Me. And today I have a special guest, which is Just Jewel. She is a author, a blogger, and a poet. So make sure that you go ahead and check out her YouTube channel at A Drop of Jewel. I will post the link above and in the description box below. It is all one word. And today we are going to discuss what, what vibes are you giving off? So, ladies, um, I know a lot of times when you're out at a social setting, wherever that may be, game night, party, mm -hmm. club, whatever it is, um, a lot of times men are paying attention to you and what kind of vibes you're giving off. Whether they are good vibes or bad vibes, yep. they are picking up on it. You can be sure of it. So, today we um, got together and put together a little list of some bad vibes you might be giving off and some good vibes that you probably should be giving mm -hmm. off. Um, so hopefully the list will help you out. So check it out. Bad vibe number one, ignoring someone. I've witnessed when I'm out with friends and there might be a guy walking by and he'll be like, hi, how you doing? Or hello, beautiful or something. And the friend or whoever it might be will just keep on going. Just have the snake face and just keep walking or just give up. Uh, and just keep going that's just so rude you don't ignore people if someone is saying hello to you it's okay to say hi back it's okay yeah. to speak yeah absolutely absolutely also i've actually been out witnessing people when um either with them with them when i'm with my girlfriends or i just witness other girls in groups and they're standing there and they're closing off the circle and basically so nobody or men in this particular case can penetrate the circle so that's another way that you could be ignoring a guy that's trying to come and engage in conversation. Bad vibe number two, being rude. So this one kind of piggybacks off of our number one, um, just being rude in general. Uh, when a man gives a compliment and you don't say thank you or you're out at a public place and he opens a door for you or holds a door for you and you just walk through as though you're entitled to that service. Oh, yeah. That's just, yeah. that's just stinking rude. Yeah, like, is. just don't be rude. Have manners. Say thank you. Exactly. If a man's giving you a compliment, if he says, hey, beautiful, you know, that's a nice thing. It doesn't mean, you know, he's trying to get with you. He might just see that you're an attractive looking lady exactly. and wants to acknowledge that. It's okay to acknowledge that you heard the compliment. Yes. Take it in. We love to be called beautiful. Take it in. Soak it up. Embrace. Exactly. Bad vibe number three. Being, Being insulting. insulting. So I remember one time I was out at a party and a young man was talking to me and my, my girlfriend. Mm -hmm. And he was just, you know, giving pleasantries, saying hi and telling her she looked nice. And she just took one look at him up and down and was just very rude about what he was wearing. She insulted what he was wearing. And I just thought that was really mean. Um, there's no need to be insulting or belittling to a man mm -hmm. if he's trying to talk to you. Um, you can be polite and still kind of slide off if you're not interested in him. But you don't need to be insulting and, and make fun of him. Nobody right. likes that. Nobody likes to be made fun of. Right, exactly. That actually reminds me of a story that some guy recently told me. He was saying how the girl, uh, it was it was two young ladies that was sizing him up. And what he meant by that was he was, he was dressed pretty nice or whatever. And the young lady insulted him by saying that he was just too short. We, we as women, we have a tendency to gravitate toward taller men. But if that's your flavor, you don't have to be rude just because he's short. Because... And he's short in your eyes, number one. Yep. But number two, that's something he can't help. Just like the tall men cannot help that they are tall. But <laughs> some people, we just can't help it. Just like I'm, I'm a black woman. I cannot help it. I'm also a darker-skinned black woman. I can't help that. So if you don't like something about somebody, you don't have to be rude and insulting. Like, he is just himself, just like we are just ourselves. And everybody wants to be accepted. So just yep. no reason to be insulting. Nope. It's just not. So just don't do it. Exactly. Bad vibe number four. Bad body language. So this one can be a little annoying to men when you're out and about and you're not realizing what you're doing, which is um, you're folding your arms or you have a frown on your face and you're not being welcoming to the men. Not at all. Not at all. Um, again, we're talking about vibes. So 
you basically want to be mindful of the vibe that you're giving off and body language is huge absolutely it's yeah. huge the roll in the eyes which is one i happen to be guilty of if a man's talking to you and you're just sucking your teeth at everything he says that's horrible oh goodness, horrible yeah. body language yes and frowning um, like she just said you got this thing face on like nobody thinks that's cute but you right. so right. you know just be mindful of your body language and, and the vibes that you're giving off through your body language. Wait, the the the, uh, the thing that they say nowadays nowadays is called resting bitch face. Oh, resting wow. bitch face. Wow. When you're frowning, and this is basically you're not realizing that you're frowning, mm. but from somebody looking across the room, this is how you're looking. Yep. They call that resting bitch face now. Oh wow, I haven't heard of that, but with that look she just gave you, you just look like you'd rather be anywhere else in the world but there, and you don't want to be bothered, you don't yes. want to be talked to, you mm -hmm. don't want to be approached, so um, that's the vibe that you're giving off, and you need to be mindful of it. Yes. Ed vibe number five, cursing at a man. Now, when we were coming up with this list, and I um, was telling her a story about when I was out with another acquaintance a woman and a man was trying to talk to us he wasn't trying to hit on us or anything like that he was just simply making simple conversation mm -hmm. I think we were talking about being a vegetarian or something like that and the woman I was out with just went on his rant and started cursing him out I have seen women really curse men out when they don't want to be bothered but here's my thing with that if you're out somewhere and it's a social gathering, you should expect people to talk to you and yes. be social. Yes. So yes. how can you get upset and start cursing a man out? Um, I've seen, you know, some guys, they are persistent, so they might say, hey, beautiful. And if you do um, our number one bad vibe thing, which is just outright ignore them, they may try again. Hey, how you doing, sexy? Or, you know, hello, gorgeous, or whatever it is. And I've seen women just get so mad by the third time, they'll just snap, you know, what the F, da, 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 and just start going off. This is very, very unattractive. No Absolutely. man wants to be cursed out just for admiring you. And um, it's a little ratchet, too, just so you know. And also, who wants to kiss that potty mouth? Yeah. <laughs> like, I was trying to talk to you. Mm -hmm. Civilized conversation. And now this is how what your response is to me. I am no longer interested anyway. Yep. Kick rocks, actually. Yeah. So you may want to think about putting a filter on that. Um, Super that filter. Out. Yeah. <laughs> Bad vibe number six. Declining, Declining a, a drink, drink offer. offer. So this one can be quite difficult to eat for me to take in. So recently a guy was telling me a story about how he was out trying to offer a beautiful young lady a drink and her response was I could buy my own drink well okay. really really <laughs> I mean yes please come here we can all buy our own drinks but take the dog on drink is it really going to mess up your night entirely if you decide to take a drink we are all pretty much independent people. So, no. He absolutely knows that he don't have to buy you a drink. But why do you have to be rude mm -hmm. and obnoxious about taking a drink? I can buy my own drink. That is so not sexy. It is so unattractive. And who cares that you can buy your own drink? But his response was actually um, classic to me because he said, Oh, you can buy your own drink. You all that? Well, tell me how you all that. <laughs> so I loved her response. And, of course, she was taken aback. But um, you don't have to be rude. You don't have to. You can take the drink. Or you can actually decline the drink. But you don't have to decline it and be condescending. Thank you. You, you, you can decline a drink. I mean... Maybe you don't want to drink. I mean, I know everybody's afraid of if they accept the drink. Oh, my gosh, the guys just think we're going to be together for the rest of the night right, now. Right, right, right. So I get that. But there's a polite way to just say, oh, you know, I'm, I don't really want anything right now. But thank you so much, you know, for offering. Yes. And slide off if you want to slide off. There, there's a way to do things in a polite manner. Yes. Yeah. Just no reason to be rude. 
Good vibe number one. Smile. Smiling. This is the easiest thing that you can do, and it's also free. See, your pearly whites. You are bringing in the good vibes by just smiling. It's very simple, and it's free. Yep. And um, I actually used to be a person who didn't smile. Not because I was angry or upset at the world about anything. Wow. But it was just my face. I just used to have one serious face. And men would tell me all the time, why don't you smile? Why don't you smile? And once I did, they're like, oh, see, you know, you have a beautiful smile. Mm -hmm. And sometimes I still do forget. But when I'm conscious of it, I correct it and I smile. And your smile will bring people in. Absolutely. It's a good vibe to yes, send it out. When you smile, people smile back a at absolutely. you. Absolutely. Yes. So It's contagious. It is. Exactly. Smiling is contagious. Exactly. Good vibe number two. Speaking when spoken to. Again, a lot of these vibes that we're talking about really coincide with just basic good manners. Mm -hmm. Just having good manners. Absolutely. So if someone says hello to you, say hello back. Yes. There's nothing wrong with your voice. There's nothing wrong with speaking. It's the polite thing to do. Yes, it, is. it doesn't matter if he, he looks like a tarantula mixed with a dragon. Just say hi back. What does that look like? I don't know. <laughs> Just say hi back, though. It's not going to kill you. It's not going to take any money out your pocket. It's it's not going to do anything to you. And, you know, if you're not interested in him, it's okay. You can say hi while still keep it moving. Yeah, exactly. Very, very simple. Yeah. Good vibe number three. Being, Being playful, playful and lighthearted. So, for this one... Um, once again, you're in a social setting. You're around other people. Mm -hmm. I don't know about you, but for me, if I'm not in the mood to be social, I keep my butt at home. Exactly. But if you're going to game night at a friend's house, mm -hmm. uh, to a party, you know, whatever it might be, where there's other people there, you're going to be expected to interact. So. Be playful. There's nothing wrong with joking around right, with the men that right. are there. If they joke around with you, right. um, nobody likes a snotty girl or an uptight girl mm -hmm. who just you know can't take a joke. Exactly. No, nobody <laughs> likes that. So it's Not okay that. to let your hair down a little yep. and just be playful with someone yep. and joke around with them. And you know, just be be lighthearted. There's nothing wrong with that. You're at a social gathering. Start that dancing, dancing, dancing. Yeah. <laughs> That's what you're there to do. Exactly. You're there to have fun. Exactly. Have fun. Bring in the good vibes. And give out the good vibes. I love it. Yes. Bring it in. And give it out. Yes. There you go. Good vibe number four. Giving compliments. So earlier I talked about um, being polite when someone gives you a compliment and saying thank you and acknowledging. But there's also nothing wrong with giving a compliment. Absolutely. Again, you're out um, and there's men there and, you know, you might see something that you like on him. You might have a nice pair of sneakers on or something. Mm -hmm. It's okay to say, hey, you know, I like your sneakers. Those are really cool. You know, that not only gives off good vibes, it also strikes up a nice conversation maybe. Exactly. Um, so there's nothing wrong with being the first one to to acknowledge that somebody, you know, looks nice or is wearing something nice or has something that you admire. It's okay with voicing that and, and letting them know. Side note, ladies, you actually stand out when you give compliments to men because they don't get them as often as we get them. Yep. We get compliments all the time. And so when you are giving a compliment to a guy, you're standing out to him because, like she just said, if he has a nice sneaker, just tell him. Or you have on a nice tie, depending on the event that you guys are at. Right. You can tell him anything. I like it when a guy is wearing cologne, even though you have to be close enough to them. But if they smell really good, that is the number one thing I am going to tell them. And this is literally what I say. Mm, you smell good. <laughs> yeah, that's me. Oh. <laughs> Give that compliment. He'll enjoy it. It's easy and simple. Good five, number five. Conversation. Just having, holding a conversation with someone um, who's trying to have one with you. Mm -hmm. it, you seem standoffish if somebody tries to strike up a conversation and you just kind of blow them off or just kind of walk away. That's, that's standoffish and that's a bad vibe you don't want to give out. So the good vibe to counteract that is to ask them questions. If yes. he's trying to talk to you, you know, about 
a book or something. Ask them questions about the book. Who's the author? When did it come out? Where can I buy it? Yes. Whatever it may be, it's okay to hold a conversation. How else are you going to get to know a person and know if you like right. them? How's he going right. to get to know if he likes you? Right. Um, so a woman that's, that's ready, willing, and available to converse um, is usually a good vibe. But actually, it shows that you're actively listening when you are asking questions. Um, it, it shows the guy that you are interested in what they have to say, which is very important because a lot of us have short attention spans mm -hmm. nowadays. And so to actively listen and pretty much repeat what you hear him, what you heard him say, so you guys can further talk about it or further discuss it, that's a really great vibe. Whether you like him or not, it's a really um, great quality to have yourself. Good vibe number six. Laugh. <laughs> so for this last um, good vibe, we mentioned that you are in a social setting. And so you want to make sure that you are giving off the good vibes. And by doing that, you are making sure that you are having a good time yeah. with just life in general. Not just where you are, whether it's the party or uh, the game night, wherever you guys are. You just want to make sure that you are giving off the good vibe, that you are just enjoying life in general. So whether it's the dancing. Or whether it's the laughing. <laughs> See, we just looked at each other and start laughing. The smiling, all of those are great vibes. Not just good, they're all great vibes. And they're all inviting for the men to come over and have a simple conversation with you. Even if you never talk to this guy anymore. Yep. It's nice and simple. And it's good practice for somebody that you really want to talk to. Because a lot of times when we're talking to somebody that we're interested in, we kind of get a little nervous. Yeah. And so if you already have these qualities about you, then it's going to be more natural. Yep. And you can get away from the jitters. Yep. So, ladies, just show you're having a great time.